welcome to the next F1 2020 My Team video. This video picks up right where the last one uh, left off. I think we will make it a tradition to do all the upgrades and fiscal shenanigans at the end of the videos. That way it will let us get right to the racing every time. We have already completed the practice sessions uh, as well as the qualifying. If that's something you guys want to see, let me know in the comments and uh, we can change that uh, in upcoming videos. With that being said, let's uh, jump to Australia for the first race of the season. No more testing, no more practice. This is the real deal. And it's make or break here at Albert Park, home of the Australian Grand Prix since 1996. And home to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. Just south of Melbourne's downtown business centre is the one and only Albert Park circuit. 3.3 miles of public roads, closed for the weekend of course, make for a bumpy circuit with little undulation. There are 16 corners around the lake and a couple of good passing opportunities here as well. Thanks in part to the DRS zones into turns 1, 3 and 13. Can Mercedes start with victory in their bid to win a seventh consecutive Constructors title? Could the run will put them established an advantage early on? And with 22 cars on the grid, how quickly can the new team find their footing? Well, it's great to be back, Anthony Davidson. We've got a lot to talk about this year. That's right, Crofty. It felt like a long winter, but it's good to finally be back. I have to think the usual suspects will battle it out at the front, but there are always going to be some teething problems early on in the season, so whoever can keep on top of their issues will have the advantage today. As I mentioned earlier, we're up to 11 teams this season, with a new entry run by, well, of all things, an owner-driver. That's something we haven't seen in this sport since Hector Aback over four decades ago. So how are they looking so far? It's hard to imagine how a small operation like that could survive in the ruthless world of Formula One. And yet here they are, first ever race looking surprisingly strong. But there are no points for qualifying. Let's see how they fare in the Grand Prix proper. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Skip and Hamilton, Albon, Norris, Ricardo, and Carlos Sainz, Perez, Kvyat, Pierre Gasly and Stroll. Magnussen, Grosjean, Kimi Raikkonen and Esteban Ocon, Giovinazzi, Boccalacci, Russell and Nicholas Latifi. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. We had an amazing qualifying lap where everything just came together to get us to a great starting position in, in fifth on the grid. For the race strategy, we're going to plan on a one-stopper onto medium tires, hopefully allowing us to maintain relatively good pace throughout the race. Okay, here we go. Looking at the lights in the distance in the center of the track there, we have five red lights and we are go in Australia. Okay, off to a slow start. Look, everybody's kind of pulling away from me and we're getting overtaken. Down in turn one, it's going to be difficult. We're going to have to be oh, yeah, on, onto the grass, onto the grass. Okay. Looks like we can fill in here behind the two McLarens. Down into this corner, we can maybe think about a look into the inside. Is everybody slowing down? Oh, and we do. Look into the inside, we've passed one McLaren, so we are now in P8. And now we can just fill in and try and keep up with the pack ahead. The AI in uh, F1 2020 tends to be very quick uh, during the opening laps. So we'll see if we can keep up here. A very light tap that we had with science doesn't seem to have affected us at all I don't think we picked up any damage um, so yeah let's just try try our best to keep up here I've actually found the manual starts to be quite difficult um, if you give too much throttle the car gets put into a, basically a spin go flying sideways and into typically into a wall um, and when you are too gentle on the throttle kind of like we were at the start of this race and you see everybody pulls away from you. I think uh, the key thing is to go up into, you know, into a higher gear just so that you don't spin your wheels and lose too much traction. Uh, that uh, a higher gear kind of gives you the opportunity to get some better traction. Okay, and we've survived the first lap coming back down onto the start finish straight. And we're about just a little bit more than half a second behind science. 
Um, and Ricardo's about a half second behind us, so we're, we're in a good little gap. I think we have a little cushion ahead and a little cushion behind. Um, just have to focus and put in some solid laps now. I love this next corner. Uh, in Formula 1 it's flat out all the way around here and it's it's kind of nail biting you know as you go out uh, onto the curb there. Oh, seems like one of the Ferraris is out. Can you believe it? I think that was the Claire. That's great news for us. That means we move up into P7. So, still in the top 10, still in this fight, and now we have one less Ferrari to deal with. That's fantastic. You also might have noticed that we are within a second of Science, who is ahead of us in sixth. And, uh, oh, that's a mistake. Oh, that's going to cost us. Well, that's unfortunate. We were within a second, and now we're outside of a second, so we don't get DRS uh, down this start finish straight, which means he's going to probably pull away from us. That really was a, uh, a costly mistake from us, unfortunately. Uh, so let's skip ahead now to lap 6, which is going to be the lap that we come in for a pit stop. As you can see, Science has continued to unfortunately pull away from us even more. He's extended the gap to about 2 seconds. Uh, we've pulled out a gap to Ricardo of nearly three seconds behind us, so that's that's good. We've just kind of found ourselves in this no man's land. Um, I've been trying to use the overtake, you know, to power out of slow, the slower corners. I've used rich mix, mix as well. I'm down to just a little more than half a lap of extra fuel. Um, I'm actually saving that to a little bit later in the race. I've noticed that the AI tends to be a little bit slower at the tail end. So just kind of knowing that they're slower at the tail end, you know, I'm anticipating that I'm going to be using rich mix a little bit more at the end. As we get ready to come into the pits now, uh, we got to be careful because there is speeding in the pits and you will get penalized for that. So we want to make sure we don't lose any time, but we also don't want to get a penalty for speeding into the pits. So go around here slowly, kind of speed up and then slow down. I think we lost a little bit of time, but but at least we didn't get a penalty. Alrighty, so let's watch this pit stop. Alrighty, you heard Jeff. Okay, so let's use this uh, lap then as a quick lap guide. Uh, around here for you know at the beginning of my team career OS is going to be a little bit different with the uh, later on car it's coming down in this corner you're going to use this board right here uh, as your brake marker you're going to trail brake down into this corner and gently ease onto the power get over to the right turn and then gently onto the throttle full speed through this next corner coming down into turn six there's going to be a drop off in the side of the board which is your brake marker and you're going to trail brake into this next corner uh, down into third gear and then slowly onto the power out here. That curb over there can be very slippery, uh, very easy to put too much power down and spin the car. For this next turn you're going to break somewhere after the 100 meter red marker board uh, and the fence drop off area. Um, this will kind of depend on the aerodynamics on your car and your, your car's ability to slow down. You're going to trail brake down into third gear and be very careful on the exit curb can be very slippery and you can spin very easily if you put too much power down too fast. Coming up here, it's possible to do this corner with just a lift. I put a dab on the brakes uh, and then after this it's full throttle through the next bend. Down into here you're going to brake at this orange barrier on the right hand side of the road. Uh, you're going to trail brake down into the corner and then power out after the apex in third gear. This next corner you can do with just a lift. Go down into fifth or fourth and then power out through the exit. 
Uh, slow down right before the red barrier, down into second, power out over to the left, and then up into fourth around this last bend and onto the start finish straight. Alright, uh, that's going to conclude a lap here in Australia. And uh, we've moved on to the replay cam here just to kind of take a look at what that looks like in uh, F1 2020. As you can see, it's a it's pretty, pretty gorgeous replay camera. You can see Science is back up ahead of us. We've caught up to him by a few tenths, but not by much during the pit stops, unfortunately. Uh, so, mission this race still the same, pretty much. Just try and chase him down and see if see if we can get past and score another position. Ahead of us, it looks like Science has got a Alpha Tauri ahead of him. Um, so that might be good news for us if he holds it. Oh, it's a Williams actually. Might be good news if that Williams can can hold signs up a little bit and give us a chance to, to catch up. That'll really put us um, in a in a position to really fight. All right. Uh, back on board with us now and you can see we've closed down the gap dramatically we're now within a second of science ahead um, looks like he's being held up by Latifi so this might go to plan for us and Latifi goes off into the pits so we're right behind science let's see if we can get DRS we do we, we do get DRS on, uh, on science here onto the start finish straight hopefully that means we can keep pulling and reeling him in all right we're back in in seventh spot. Oh man, and that gap is all the way down to four tenths of a second. So we are getting really close. We're getting really, really close to science here. And we actually can see Albin just up in front of science as well. Oh, and that's bad news. That is bad news. So the good thing about the safety car is it takes away the gap to the car ahead. Uh, the unfortunate bad news is that it's going to eat into the laps that we have remaining. Uh, so it might make it a little bit more difficult for us to, to try gain any positions. The cause of this safety car was actually Magnuson just pulling off to the side of the road in turn 3 or 4. Uh, it didn't really obstruct anything, it's kind of a weird call that uh, that they decided to bring out the safety car. Anyway, safety car stays out until we are getting ready to start lap 12, so let's skip ahead to that point. Okay, let's get ready to go racing again. The safety car is in this lap. When the field accelerates, remember, there is no overtaking until the green flags. Safety car in this lap. So with the safety car coming in this lap, uh, I'm going to try and do something clever. You might notice that we have quite a bit of fuel saved up. Uh, so into the penultimate corner, I'm going to switch it up into rich mix. And then once the fuel gets going, I'm going to try and switch on overtake and rich mix, uh, hoping to get a jump on the guys ahead. Um, but unfortunately, the AI, I guess, are also smart and <laughs> can also do this. So they kind of see my plan coming. Unfortunately, as you can see here, the field ahead just gets a total jump on me. Uh, and before we even got to, to the first corner, science is already six tenths of a second ahead of me. So technically, we're still in um, in range. Field is all bunched up, and uh, you know we're within range of science ahead, just like I uh, I just said. Um, the only unfortunate thing is we. We can't uh, deploy our wings, so even though that we're so close, you know, we don't have any help. We can use the overtake button, we can use some rich, rich mix, but we also have to be mindful of Ricardo behind. With uh, this being the first video, I thought it might be nice to do the last few laps without any commentary from me. I know that a few of you might be just wanting to check out uh, what F124 looks like how the replay cam looks without any uh, influence from, from me. So, so uh, in enjoy until the, the end of the race.
welcome back on board. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to catch up with science, but I think P7 is uh, an excellent place to finish in our first ever race and our first race for a new team in Formula One. Uh, so, fantastic first race, um, and already excited for the next one. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in A great race then, and a fantastic victory here at Albert Park. What do you think it was, Ants, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, they played the safety car to absolute perfection. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralized. I mean, do you pit for fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. I really seem to enjoy that. He made it look easy. You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled. Definitely a, a team effort today. It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? Not going to comment on this one. Well, thanks anyway. Let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's standing. After today's performance, Valtteri Bottas secures the championship lead. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? It's got to be Valtteri Bottas, a commanding performance that I think had the audience's eyes glued to him for the majority of the race. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I can't wait to see what's next. Okay, everybody, that uh, concludes the racing for today's video. Uh, from here on out, it's just going to be tweaking with some stuff, um, some cosmetics tweaking, um, picking a secondary sponsor, which we are now eligible for. Um, we unfortunately don't have any new resource points, so we'll just review the things that are, that are in progress. Uh, and unfortunately, we don't have enough cash to spend on... Uh, any of our facilities just yet either all right um, so yeah you're just gonna see me flipping through some menus uh, and that'll be the end thank you so so much for for your support thank you for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video um, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one